大大七人画派全人 Michael Jensen。Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure being here. And some people ask questions. Well, what am I doing here? How did I get here? And I would like to also address uh, um, visitors here, artists. And uh, I was asked, do I speak Chinese? Ni hao. And from this point onward, I need translation. Michael said, "Today, I'm very happy to be able to attend our celebration. His only speech in Chinese is 'Ni hao.'" So, um, my relationship with um, Chinese heritage, culture, came by way of art, not verbal communication. I was born in Toronto, and we have a wonderful museum called the Royal Ontario Museum, and it has a very significant collection of Chinese art that goes back as far as we know. And I learned about Chinese heritage culture by looking at the art, not by reading the books or reading the tags. There I learned a great deal. I was very young. I wasn't even a teenager yet. And I was equipped with a sketchbook making drawings. I was already having a communication, I thought, with China and Chinese culture, Chinese people going back thousands of years. I believed it. And then many decades later, I was invited to an exhibition in China, in Shenzhen. 100 Asian famous calligraphers and painters. And I was invited. I'm not Asian, but I have a feeling for it. And I went with my wife. It was a wonderful exhibition. And I, I felt immediately at home in China. This largely came from the art, the heritage, the tradition. We've had some wonderful speakers, um, people that uh, look after us, political people. They were speaking like poets. And much of my speech is now not necessary. So I'd like to emphasize something here, being the visual artist. The word beauty, a very important word. In the West it's called, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I do not believe that. I believe beauty exists, even if there's no one on the planet. Nature is beautiful. Our group is seven, which influenced me. Saw the beauty of nature. They made paintings, brought them back to Toronto, and expressed what they felt. It was also their poetic response. That in itself is beauty, the human experience. Are you testing my, my English translation? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you can wait for the translation of this film, you know. We'll see. Basically, Michael said, you know, the, the 
beauty of nature uh, has inspired and influenced his uh, work. Correct. That was a good short guy. Okay, so there's this mention now of Group of Seven. It's true. I was mentored by A.J. Kasson, the last member of the group. Yep. Um, and he did have an influence on me, but I was already influenced by the group by looking at the pictures, their heritage. Many years later, I met him, and we showed together. And so, what I'm getting at is that the visual art all the arts visual do not need verbal language. So, the visual art affects all people who can see, touch, feel, and it brings them to thinking and it raises consciousness. Beauty is very powerful. And to share beauty from different cultures in Asia going back thousands of years, if we think about global art or modernization in the arts, that would be catastrophic, one art not correct. All the arts coming together, the richness from all different peoples and times. And when they meet and we understand and we can feel and participate together, um, like this exhibition, it brings us closer together. And that is another form of beauty, humanity, the beauty of humanity. It inspires people to feel like they belong to each other, even the planet, and it fosters, encourages creativity in others. Not just artists, it doesn't matter what you do, but if you bring creativity into your life, it reaches others. That is another form of beauty. And so I want to thank everyone for being here to enjoy the uh, richness of I our diversification and I have to say a special thanks to James Liu I'm looking at him right now and why I couldn't believe the catalog he put together it was his first time it rivals any museum catalog and he we had many conversations and uh, to shape all of this and I'm very impressed and with Alice as well they brought true heart mind and arts together to communicate with us and the world beyond. Our belief and vision is not just East-West, but North-South, global, but being yourself, bringing the best of what cultures have, and sharing. That's what we're here for. We are creators. Thank you. Thank you, my friend.